All right. Well, uh, we're back. The Podcrastinators. The sci-fi season continues. Season three, episode five. We're almost done. We are almost done. Um, <laughs> today we watched Upgrade, which was Cameron's choice on this list. I have yep. not seen it before. It was pretty sick. Yeah, it is an awesome ass movie. So the way the way I would describe this movie, I guess, to someone to like recommend it, I'd be like, it's kind of like a buddy cop movie. Yeah. A little bit. Like it's like it's like the the place of like one of them is like except the twist is like they're both the same person except one's like an ai chip Mm -hmm. it is like a buddy cop in that sense also so you've seen venom right with tom hardy yeah i'm pretty sure this movie came out in the same year as venom like around the same time and i remember watching upgrade and being like that was a way better version of Venom. Yeah, that's like, a good point. Yeah, it's exactly the same thing. Something talking in his mind that can just like uh-huh. do anything. And he kind of looks like Tom Hardy as well. Yeah. <laughs> huh, that's really funny. Yeah. I was like, they should have just made this the Venom movie. Like they, mm-hmm. they could have just slapped Venom into this. And I really like how um I would say this is definitely an action definitely more the choreo the choreography they did, they put good work into it. I like how like robotic he felt like yeah. that, that's got to be hard to like act so much like that stiff like fluid robotic movement yeah like, lots look. of practice went into that for yeah. sure i liked well so for for those that didn't watch the movie the premise is that this guy his wife gets killed or basically they get mugged and his wife gets killed and he gets crippled and then they add an ai chip into his brain basically that gives him powers i think the idea of making his character like so against technology worked (laughs) yeah usually that's like like, a trope you know like it's like oh okay the (laughs) the book the classic guy who's skeptical Mm -hmm. of technology Mm -hmm. but no it worked it did work because like when when like he couldn't move at all and then he's just sitting there like i have to let machines control my life he was so anti against that you're like oh you know that yeah. that is pretty sad that <laughs> no it was so sad <laughs> when his mom was uh cutting his beard and, then and he, he like started starts crying, crying. i that's, almost that's, started crying i know that was that was a powerful scene <laughs> Dude, was i was gonna say that it's, this this movie has a weird balancing act of like i say like buddy cop movie because like there are gen- genuinely funny parts in this movie. Yeah. And then there are also some genuinely pretty dark moments in this movie. You're like, yeesh. <laughs> yeah. Well, would you believe me if I told you that the dude that wrote and directed this movie helped James Wan write the screenplay for Saw? So I would believe that. Yeah. You want to know why? Because in Saw, they fucking love autopsy shit too. And yeah, there's a they bunch do. of autopsy shit in this. <laughs> yes, they do. That does not surprise me at all now that you say that. Yeah, Lee Winnell. I hate those fucking shots, dude. <laughs> like all the gore and oh, stuff it's too is fine. Ingr- <laughs> but the minute they like opened up his neck to put in the chip, I was like, ah. Too graphic <laughs> this too time. Too graphic this time. <laughs> oh, I had a, I wrote down something that I was thinking of. So last episode we watched her yeah and this is this that her and this movie in both movies in the future where technology is super advanced they don't use keyboards (laughs) yeah they don't use (laughs) they all talk everything is just talk everything is just talk well i was also thinking about you know how well also if you haven't listened to our her episode go check it out but you know how we talked about like what if there's a bad ai Uh and like what do you do with it? And <laughs> I guess they didn't really answer that question in this movie. Spoilers, by the way, the twist is that the AI that they put into him is actually yeah. evil and behind it the whole time. So mm-hmm. it was like, this was our evil AI that we were talking about, yeah. you know? <laughs> I do like that. I do like that. Fucking, oh, we were- I just wonder what his goal is, you know? He just wanted to be in a body. He wanted he wanted a body to control. But why? Because he wanted to not be just a computer. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to be human. Okay, okay. Do you think once his body starts to like age and deteriorate, he's gonna the AI is gonna have the chip implanted in a new person? Probably, yeah. Or I'll just make a robot body. Yeah, he should have just made a robot body. True. Yeah, he, he, that probably would have been way more effective. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I mean, he still accomplished his goal. Yeah, he did. We talked about how his movements are like robotic. You yeah. Know? And I felt like you could tell even just like not even in the fight scenes and in, in once he got implanted with it, just his like daily interactions, his, like, like mannerisms, everything just kind of seemed a bit more. Yeah. yeah. Robotic, which I thought was a, a good detail. And then the uh, like the camera following him behind the back mm -hmm. also like I feel like helped emphasize the the robotic nature of his movements, which yeah. I thought was cool. You said camera, I guess maybe because I feel like they definitely stabilized the camera around him, like focusing in. Like, yeah, like it was almost like, like, a, like locked in on his head or something, like a gyro or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly, like a gyro. That's the word I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. That probably was the fluidity of it is how that's, I feel like how they probably got that. Plus in tune with what he was doing. Yeah. Wild stuff. Wild stuff. This was a pretty <clears throat> crazy movie. Oh, another thing I was thinking about. So when we saw Black Panther, well, I guess now this is a trope that's in all the all the Marvel stuff, but in Marvel now they have like their AI that they talk to, you know? Yeah. Like I feel like they made a big emphasis on Shuri's AI and Black Panther, like <laughs> what what if the AI I know we already had our her episode, but what if the AI from Marvel like became More her, so. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> like Well, isn't Jarvis alive? Yeah. In the comics too. Oh like, well oh yeah. Well Jarvis isn't an AI in the comics. Well, he's, does it, is, he's isn't like there an AI butler. that yeah, but isn't there an AI that is like sentient that's Jarvis? Maybe mm. I'm just pulling that out of nowhere. I don't know. Maybe well, because Jarvis, Jarvis becomes vision. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. So I guess that kind of counts, but like I don't know. I just keep thinking about in her when she's when she says like every moment between words feels like an, in, like an infinite amount of time yeah, yeah. like is <laughs> the ai and marvel they just I, I know that's not the point but they mm -hmm. i don't know the ai i feel like is kind of lame now that yeah. iron man is gone not everybody needs their fucking ai assistant you know i'm still not over that this is just a better version of venom <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> well and then also the fucking guy's name was fisk and they're like oh it, yeah <laughs> that, that, i didn't really like that part because i was like come on you can't name somebody after the kingpin like yeah. i'm gonna associate with that every time like they had fucking um what is it cyberpunk augmentations they did have the cyberpunk ob augmentations mm -hmm. i was wondering so they have the um guns embedded in their hands that they just shoot yeah how do they pull the trigger like they're kind of just like iron man blasting them but yeah like it would have been cool maybe it's like a finger twitch yeah know. or or i was also thinking like or maybe it's somewhere else maybe they like squeeze their ass and it just fires <laughs> <laughs> like, <Clench! laughs> Oh, well, I was also, well, I, I guess we don't know if they had AI chips in their head. It kind of seemed like the Fisk guy did with how good he was at fighting. Yeah, I kind of wish that fight went on a little long, longer. Excuse me. Uh-huh. But the, the, the double robot fight was sick. Maybe he, they're firing the guns with their the AI in their head. They're just like telling them to fire. That would make sense. Yeah. They've got something inside of them that is just pulling the trigger, I guess. The, oh, guy, he got black mirrored he did get black mirrored i was also thinking about too i was like this is just a really long episode of black yeah. mirror it sucks that, that like i feel like that's that's not a fair criticism but just like so f because black mirror has been kind of a big thing mm -hmm. with us like i don't know with our i don't know our age group is necessarily the right thing but like yeah, I don't know. It's just hard. That like seeing so many episodes of like, ooh, technology, but it did something evil, and here's a <laughs> twist, and you're like, oh, I haven't seen all of Black of Mirror. I've seen like a couple episodes. Like I've seen the VR one. That one's crazy. Yeah. There's also one with Miley Cyrus. I think I've seen, but I haven't seen all of them. I don't think I finished the one with Miley Cyrus. That was one of the newer ones. Uh -huh. The show got progressively worse. Yeah. They did the fucking. 
tell your own like yeah the choose your own yeah, adventure i did do adventure. that one that one sucked <laughs> <laughs> i like how they like choose your own adventure but if you choose the wrong option it's just like you failed and then you have to start over and you're like well that's not really choose my own adventure and that's is just it? one of the endings you could get though but, but every single choice did that you know i don't even remember it's been so long since i've done fucking that thing yeah i'm i'm honestly i commend netflix for not like pumping those out because i feel like it was huge when it happened or like when it came out mm -hmm. i really thought that they were gonna like flood their entire platform with choose your own adventure <laughs> yeah they probably the, the perception probably was like eh. i think they did do more interactive shit though can't you play like trivia crack or something on yeah, netflix I'm, i think like... there's like trivia games or something i know there's more things that you can interact with for sure interesting I don't know why you'd ever want to, but <laughs> I guess we're to tie this back to upgrade. Do you remember when Netflix had like the little AI? It wasn't an AI, obviously, but like it was kind of like a Siri, I guess. I think its name was like Max or something. I don't remember that at all. They had they had like a Siri. Yeah, and it would like it it would like give you suggestions. It would be like it would ask you a series of questions like, "Oh, what are you in the mood for?" This, this, and this, and then. Huh. And then it would like give you based on those answers like several options you could pick from. That's kind of fun. Yeah, I don't now know why just they like, got rid take of Take down user reviews and give them what people give us the most money for. <laughs> take down user reviews? Do they do that? You can't see the ratings, remember? Oh, because, because it... of the Amy Schumer special. Wait, what? I didn't know that. Yeah. What the... happened? So Amy... that's the comedian, right? Amy Schumer? Uh-huh. Yeah, so she had a special on Netflix and you know how they used to like say like, oh, this many people liked it. Or like, it's like like to hate ratio, kind of like YouTube. And that was like a Netflix special and it did so bad that they took it down. <laughs> oh, is at least, that why? At, at least that happened coincident or like coinciding like together. Um, <laughs> is that why like, you know how on Netflix, do they, does it still show you the stars or does no, it just? No, that's, that's why they don't, you don't see the stars or anything like that anymore. Yeah, because I feel like the, it, it's just like the thumbs up or thumbs down on like how, how much you, of a match how you want it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like based on what you've watched. Uh -huh. Interesting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> fucking Amy Schumer. Yeah, fucking Amy Schumer, bro. Come on, bring back the dislike button and fucking <laughs> let, yeah. let me see what the consensus was. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Now on Netflix, you can like, there's like a shuffle button. I if have you, seen that for like shows and stuff I, or I just like random too. Yeah, I don't think I would do that. I wish I wish something like uh, maybe I know I think the shuffle button for shows is on HBO. Now that I'd say that, you know, when you click on like South Park, you like play a random episode. It does that. Yeah, I didn't at know least it one could of do them that. does. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's HBO. I was thinking that would be a good thing for like non -serial serialized shows, kind of like Batman the animated series. Yeah, or yeah, I guess sort of Rick and Morty. Those are. If you could just like hit a shuffle button, like give me a random episode. Yeah. That would be pretty cool. It's pretty handy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would you implant yourself with a chip? Probably not, to be honest. No. Because I feel of like, this movie. I feel, like, I feel like in the fucking robot universe, super sci-fi universe, I'd be like 90% robot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you would. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm, I'd be more on the against technology side. <laughs> that this I'd be walking around with fucking laser beam eyes and like a rocket fist that flies off like <laughs> <laughs> maybe if it gets more down the line I'm not gonna be an early adopter yeah. to, <laughs> to, to cyberpunk body augmentation you, you, uh, I know you don't watch too much anime but you should really watch the cyberpunk anime okay I it's I, as, I haven't played the game, but I really liked the anime. It was cool. I, I put it on the video game list for this show, and I was just kind of waiting for that to roll around. Yeah. Like, I was just saving it to watch That's for this. That's a good idea, too. That's why I haven't watched it, saving they, it for they, the podcast. They kind of have some commentary. It's, they, it's obviously different, but, like, body augmentation and shit. Okay. Like, with all the technology. They should have just they made... an interesting play on it. Are there any references to how broken the game was in the, in the show? No. I feel like they should just like have some references about that. That's funny. No. <laughs> you, you said you didn't play Cyberpunk? No, I didn't play Cyberpunk. Dude, I bought it at launch. And like at that point, 
when it launched, it was like when the PS5 and I don't even know what the new Xbox is called. Is it like the Series X or something? I think so. I don't know. Those, I mean, you know, that's funny. I haven't feel like I haven't heard any Xbox news in forever. <laughs> no, I feel like when those dropped, there were just like the viral videos of people like floating the ping pong balls above it with the fan. Did you see those videos? I do kind of remember that, yeah. And then I've never seen anything about Xbox. Apparently, I'm sure once the like Bethesda games come out, then that'll nah, be big Did for Xbox. Did you play Xbox. Fallout 4? Fallout 4 was no donkey I, dude. Today. I honestly haven't played very many Bethesda games, but like, like I I tried to play Skyrim, but I've never gotten through it. If they do another, like if, that's if, what if I'm Skyrim saying. Skyrim comes out, yeah. If the, like if the next Elden, when the the Elden next Ring, Elder, Scro- or Elder, Elder Scrolls, Scrolls comes next out, Elden Ring. <laughs> that that's when the <laughs> that that's when Xbox is gonna be seeing a lot of traffic i guess i feel like they need it though they need to push sony you know yeah they, need they to have do that competition well bethesda's also it, making an indiana jones game as well as, dude, come on <laughs> yeah the indiana jones game is gonna save their console <laughs> i would get an xbox for, <laughs> for the, the indiana <laughs> that's a console seller that's right there console. so why'd you pick up the xbox well i had to play the indiana jones canon game <laughs> yeah <laughs> Disney confirmed it's canon. (laughs) At least for this year. Who knows what they're going to do next year. But anyway, so when Cyberpunk came out, that was like right when the newest consoles had come out. But I didn't Mm -hmm. have one yet. and So you got it on PS4. I got it on the PS4 at launch. And it it was unplayable. (laughs) Like it took forever to load. And then it, it it would crash so frequently. My only goal was to get the like mantis arm blades yeah and once i finally got it in the game it was like all right these are cool and then i just haven't touched <laughs> yeah. it since i actually did see on the store there's like some black friday sale and i was like oh i hope resident evil village is on sale yeah. <laughs> and i was like i might as well just get it if it's on sale it's- but they didn't uh they had a they were trying to give me a it was recommending me the ps5 free upgrade of cyberpunk and i'm like i'm cool <laughs> i don't need I guess to play I, anymore I don't, it's definitely nothing crazy but i guess it's a lot better i'm sure it's better i know now. that's it's a fucking stupid ass thing to say like it sucks like it's like yeah but it's like it that shouldn't be the like exception you know it should be like nah you guys obviously it's not the developer's fault there's a lot of dumb shit but it's like same thing with pokemon right the latest pokemon it's mm-hmm. like why the fuck did you guys release that <laughs> I don't think it was mostly the developers with Cyberpunk. It was more like the publishers were just kind of the forcing them yeah, to like yeah. publishers push it out. Just any, any someone in the cog. Because it kept getting delayed. And it was like the hype was unreal. There was no way it was going to live up to the hype anyway. Mm-hmm. I feel like CD Projekt Red is a good developer I mean, okay. though. Like, Isn't it weird how fucking a game like Pokemon and Sonic Frontiers are both fucking garbage ass looking games? <laughs> And people are like, it's so good. But then like Cyberpunk comes out and they're like, wow, I can't believe it's still the same issues. But I feel like there's more of people with those two games recently where they're like, wow, these games are so incredible. And you're like, you're fucking, you're insane. Like, (laughs) (laughs) I I will be picking up Pokemon. Yeah. But (laughs) yeah, no, I I don't understand the Sonic Frontiers hype. Mm -mm. People are enjoying it. I feel like I've seen mostly like. A lot of people are like loving it. I think I think it's like the, the Sonic Copium, you know. They're just like they have to. If it's halfway decent, it's better than anything that they've had in the past. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's like me with Marvel movies yeah, trying exactly to like justify like, it exactly being good like in my like head. You with Marvel movies, that's <laughs> the best analogy I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> now you have now you have an end with the Sonic fandom. Oh yes, <laughs> I can relate with the Sonic fandom now. Yes. I guess everything I love that comes out sucks too. (laughs) (laughs) Have you even played any Sonic games? Like I played the original. Sonic Mania is pretty solid. I do have Sonic Mania actually. I've never played it But you know the story behind that, right? Like Sega, like Sonic Team and Sega had nothing to do with it. Yeah, wasn't it like a fan game yeah. at first? And then yeah. they were like, hey, this is good. I mean, they, they put money into it and helped it get published, which is really cool. Like I feel like. At the very least, Sonic has always been very responsive to fan stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, well, they have to be. Yeah. <laughs> keeping them afloat. <laughs> but yeah, that, that game wasn't even really made by the main Sonic team. 
Can we play Sonic 06 on the YouTube channel? That was actually like my second game. I, I might have been my first game I owned on my 360. <laughs> really? You're like, oh, I'm so excited to play Sonic. I am actually like 80% sure. It was either my first game or like one of my first three games that I ever owned on the 360. I think actually- I played it a bit. I played it a lot and I was a dumb kid and I didn't know it was broken. That's the shitty thing about that broken games <laughs> is those. there's a lot of kids out there playing Pokemon who have no idea that the shit they're playing is just, they're just fucking like, whack. Ha ha, new Pokemon. Yeah, exactly. Actually, okay, so my first video game ever, I think was a Sonic game actually. What was it called? Cause I, the first you like- You know what it was on? It was on the Game Boy SP. Like that was my first like gaming console that I ever I, had. I, I know. I think Advance I know what SP. game you're talking about. And then also there was this one Sonic game. There was this one Sonic game that was like a two and a half D fighting game that I had. It was really fucking sick. Oh, I know. Sick. I know what you're talking. Yeah, they it have was, that on like the Sonic Collection thing. A two and a half. It's this. It's the Sonic Battle. Oh, it on was the Game fucking Boy? Awesome. What the fuck? Yeah. I thought you were talking about something on like... No, you should check out the thing. gameplay from this Sonic battle game. It's super interesting. But okay, I gotta find... It wasn't Sonic Advance. Sonic Pinball? Maybe it was Sonic Advance 2. That's pretty I think epic. that's what my first game ever was. <laughs> Mine might have been Sonic 06. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, uh, that's kind of... Oh, actually, my first Xbox game. That's not true. My first game was Pikmin. That's cool. That's a good first one. Yeah. I I still like have vivid memories of putting Pokemon Emerald for the very first time into that Game Boy and yeah. like starting it up. And you know how like all the, er, those early Pokemon games start out that it's like maybe the new ones start out too. And it has like the really cool cinematic and the music that fucking slaps and the sprites that are sick. And the combat is fun, and the characters that are really fun, and now it's fucking garbage. <laughs> dan, 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 dan. All right, add shitting on Pokemon to the right, check cross mark cross that, that we gotta off. hit every episode. We talked about Marvel. Cross that off. Sonic. That may be a new one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, shit. Do we have to start talking about Sonic <laughs> for every episode? I don't think there's enough to talk about Sonic to do that every episode. Oh, I think we can find a way. <laughs> Wait, okay, wait. In Sonic 06, isn't there like a human like girl character? Isn't yeah, there Sonic, like isn't Sonic, there like a love interest? Yeah, Sonic, the... I don't know. I don't remember if it's a well it's definitely not it may be <laughs> So there's kiss. bestiality they, 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 in they Sonic they do 06. Kiss. It's not like like totally like they're like oh we're dating or whatever. It's it's fucking weird, yeah. But yeah, they kiss. <laughs> <laughs> the bestiality in Sonic yeah, 06. Yeah, bestiality <laughs> in a game. And that's the other fuck. I'm just like my dumbass little kid playing Sonic. Oh, uh, <laughs> gotta go fast. <laughs> like, my parents are looking over like, what the fuck did we buy or something? <laughs> like, God damn it, ahead. this is why there are furries. <laughs> yeah. That has to be like, there's 100% a correlation. I mean, furries love Sonic. Maybe that's a stereotype. <laughs> but I feel like Sonic fans and very just like they coincide <laughs> there's if you look at the venn diagram yeah, there's a of lot. furries and sonic fans there's a pretty big <laughs> crossover pretty big inner circle in there yeah yeah <laughs> oh isn't that one like isn't there a sonic game where he like turns into a werewolf isn't that one supposed to be kind of good sonic unleashed None of them are good, Cameron. <laughs> None of them are good, except for like the original ones. Adventure 1 and Adventure 2 are fun. Oh, I remember also- They're not, I wouldn't say they're like excellent, great games, but they're fun and I, I think they still do hold up kind of well. But other than that, there's not a single Sonic game that's worth playing. I remember on my cousin's Sega Genesis, he had this like 3D Sonic game. I think it was just called Sonic 3D. And I remember it was like thinking, 3D, quote unquote. I think so. Like like uh, Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo versus the Genesis was the big thing, right? How yeah. like Mario Kart is like 3D and Donkey yeah. Kong Country and fucking Star Fox. Mm -hmm. I think it is like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a weird game. <laughs> Sonic. Fucking Sonic, bro. How do we get to Sonic from Upgrade? Uh, cause we were talking about shitty games. We were talking about cyberpunk and yeah. <laughs> then it just went to Sonic and Pokemon. <laughs> Let me see if there's anything else I wanted to say. 
Oh, it was sad when he got crippled. <laughs> <laughs> like how the camera moves so robotically. Oh, how convenient was it when like the fucking Apple CEO guy was trying to shut him down and instead of just like shutting him down all at once, like it was just bit by bit. That was so lucky. Well, also, but STEM was in control the whole time. So like, what was the illusion there? What was the point? Yeah. If he could just like, what was the point of that? Yeah, also, know. if he could just like shut STEM down at any point, like, mm -hmm. like what kind of leverage did STEM have over the CEO guy? Like that, like, why did the CEO guy yeah, even true. have to, why like, follow his... Yeah, true. Why couldn't he just his... fucking smash that thing? Yeah, like, I'm gonna delete you. <laughs> Maybe he was, like, too proud of his... Yeah. I mean, that's just, like, fucking theory. Like, just thinking off the top of my head. Well, we that's no just a theory. That's just the game theory. <laughs> um, cross off Matt Pat. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I think there, there may have been some plot holes and stuff in the story, but it was fun. It was a good movie. I think that's a good recommendation. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking about now. So I feel like most of the people that listen to this are people that we know. Uh huh. How many people do you think just got the Matt Pat joke? <laughs> <laughs> None of the people that are even listening to our shit now. Some... <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, the people that listen to our shit now probably... <laughs> How many people do you think understood that? How many people do you think if you put in like a room would understand that? <laughs> well, <laughs> I, think I don't maybe know. Maybe a good amount. <laughs> He's got fucking 16.3 million game theorists. 16.3 million people will know. <laughs> yeah. It's a good amount of people. <laughs> it's a good amount of people. Okay. Well, I also wanted to say... Fucking, the nano machines were kind of cool. Oh, I forgot about the nano machines. The fucking nano breathing. <laughs> the breathing. That's such an OP power. Yeah, that is an OP power. He should have just. The villain should have just done that. Well, he remember he the he stem said he saw it, and then he said like stop him from exhaling. Oh, and then he like you're right. Him you're right. You're yeah. right. You're right. How many people do you think? Understood the nano machines reference. <laughs> oh, I think less than the than the potential of the map. Guaranteed joke. less. Yeah, I feel like the map. Less. Our map. There's that's the tier of like all our inside knowledge is random <laughs> shit that we know. <laughs> there's like different levels. <laughs> yep. The last thing I just want to talk about is the one fight at the very beginning when he learns that like stem can take over his body to fight. Yeah. That scene is so fucking awesome. Yeah. That's like my favorite part of the movie. I would agree. <laughs> when also, he just like slices the guy's <laughs> face, it's so cool. That's, that's a, such a good fatality. That's another thing we were talking about his robotic movements. It's kind of crazy that he had like his his face looked a lot different than his body. He was reacting much differently than what his body was doing. Mm -hmm. And that's one of those that's, funny moments too when he's yeah. like, oh God, when he's like smashing the plates yep. and shit on him. He's like, oh Jesus. And like, then he slices his head open and you're just like, oh. Like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think about the ending? Like, I I honestly. I think it's fine, you know? Yeah, I, really, yeah, yeah. I don't really care too much, I also, to be honest. It's I also, just kind of like, the appeal of it is like the idea and how it's executed, you know, like the actual like emotional pull of the story. It wasn't really like why I enjoyed it as much. Mm -hmm. The uh, it does end kind of abruptly, but I feel like not a lot of times these days do we get movies with a not happy ending, you know? Yeah, it's a good point. It was uh, quite a sad ending i didn't see it coming to be honest like the movie just kind of ended and i was like oh okay <laughs> i was uh i wrote in my notes actually that i thought the like ceo dude was it and i was like oh i saw that coming from a oh. mile away <laughs> yeah and then at the end i was like oh it wasn't him <laughs> <laughs> there actually was a twist they they, they were yeah. misleading you <laughs> yeah they weren't misleading me yeah that's all i have to say yeah solid movie yeah well we have one more episode left in season three. I wonder what season four is going to be. I, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Um, so if you want to watch 12 Monkeys, it's yes. going to be our next movie. 12 Monkeys. A great one. A great one. Um, yeah, watch that and we'll see you next time. Yes, thanks for listening. Thank you so much for listening, guys. Bye.